Well, those solid state components they call injector drivers in the ECM PCM that control the injectors are a little bit different than what you're used to with sequential fuel injection. We're going to control both the high and low side for voltage and current. And the driver is going to provide up to between 55 and 65 volts to the injector. Now, where does it get this voltage? The same place the computers get the voltage to fire diesel injectors at such high voltages. And that's from the capacitance effect of when we turn the injector on initially. It doesn't have quite enough ump to do the job, but we get a voltage spike, a flyback voltage from the inductor collapsing. That goes into that capacitor in the ECM and the injector drivers use this capacitor then to discharge back out under the hood and give you the higher voltage to those injectors. We'll see about 10 amps of turn on. Initially, the current for the injector to do its job to turn on and point up against that high pressure in that common rail, about 10 amps to ramp up, and then it's gonna maintain three or four amps for the, inject for the remainder of the injection event, or I should say events, because there may be more than one pulse within one event. And that's gonna only be about the 10 amp for about a few millis 100 milliseconds, and then we do a longer period of time with the uh, lower current. Same thing for the voltage. So we see 65 volts or so for a brief period, and then we see about 13 and a half volts or so for the remainder of the event.